What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Sea of Thieves video. Now today we have some interesting things to talk about that regarding some of the things coming in the future to Sea of Thieves and things to look forward to. So before we actually get into this video, if you guys would like to win a Ferryman outfit, I actually spent £15 on getting this which I thought was quite a good deal. I've already got one but I thought I'd do a giveaway for you guys so if you guys would like to actually win that, leave a like on this video. Comment in that comment section below what you're most looking forward to coming in Sea of Thieves. So let's get right into them. So first up we actually have mini games. Now mini games are a huge possibility but they're definitely not as simple as you guys may think. Now in regards to mini games they actually mention things such as rowboats, having races in them with your friends. You could also do things such as fishing, playing darts and the big one actually playing gambling with your friends. So you'll be able to put some coin on the line to actually bet with your friends on things such as poker or playing 21 or even blackjack. So really cool indeed. Now these are only a possibility. I'm not saying that they're going to add these into the game but it was mentioned in one of their actual blog posts. So very cool indeed and yeah mini games definitely sound very fun I'd love to play these types of mini games which keep you immersed in the game but also just having the gambling sort of thing is really cool indeed I wouldn't like it to take over the game but just have something almost like a side quest when you're waiting for some friends you could just go and play with some random people on poker and bet some of the loot that you've actually put in really awesome indeed moving on just a second ago I did actually mention rowboats now the reason I mentioned rowboats is because they're actually in the concept art of Sea of Thieves now a load of people actually mentioned this to the Sea of Thieves developers saying why are they there if we cannot use them and Sea of Thieves actually responded saying we prototype rowboats it was super cool and they may make an appearance in the future now that's all good news rowboats would be absolutely awesome like I say, they'll probably be the quickest uh, boat that you can actually use in the game. And it wouldn't be holding a load of loot per se. Maybe if you're a solo player, you'd actually be able to go and grab one piece of loot and chuck it in the rowboat. You could also use it as an escape route. So let's say your ship gets raided by a few other rogue pirates. You could take your loot off and shove them on the rowboat and get your lone teammate to actually run off with the uh, loot. I think it would be a really cool concept. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section below, but it would be pretty awesome. Next up, we actually have in-game events. Now, we have actually been teased the first in-game event, and it's going to be known as the Star Glowy-Eyed Visitors. Now, Sea of Thieves will actually host special in-game events every now and then, and Chapman, who is actually a developer, actually had a rhyming tease for the first one upon a fan request, and he said, New visitors, soon there may be, travelling far across the sea. Depth of night with eyes aglow, crawling the earth cast in shadow. Now this is obviously referencing the shadow skeletons, but what could this actual event be? Could we have to kill so many to actually get a reward? Now I do actually think it's really cool that the Sea of Thieves developers are going to be putting in weekly and daily events. I think it's going to allow us to play more and have a reason to come onto the game per se and have a weekly thing to do and have these events to come onto just to play the event, let's say if you didn't have the time to play the game fully. It'd be really awesome and I'd just be interested to see what these in-game events will actually have and what the tasks will actually be. Next up we have pets. Now pets are actually shown as being revealed as the Sea of Thieves first microtransactions in the game. There is also a premium shop what has been announced where you can spend some of your premium currency which you'd actually have to put real money into. Now they're not like loot crates you'd actually have to go and purchase what you want but it sounds really cool because it's not a re-rolling it's not gambling type of thing but they did say that there is also going to be some free ways to earn pets and some in-game limit stuff. Now as you guys know I did actually say that there is going to be a premium shop where you can buy some of these things. You'll also be able to earn some of them things in-game. You'll be able to get things such as monkeys in which you can actually have on your boat and they'll follow you around. Now the thing is your pirate friends can actually pick up your monkey or your cat and drop them in the water if they want to. But don't worry 
because they will spawn right behind you. They will not be gone forever. But I do think pets as a cosmetic is a really cool feature. And having them follow you and just be around you is really awesome indeed. I do think it's going to be a feature in which will enhance the game in the sense of just saying, I've got this cosmetic, look at me. It's not going to make any difference attacking wise. They won't do any damage from what I know. But it is just a really cool feature and a really cool aesthetic to the game. Speaking of the premium shop as well as customization with pets, we're also going to be getting some pirate customization for your hair color and tattoos is going to be on this list as well. It's really awesome that they're actually going to be adding this. I personally think that it should have been added a long time ago when the game first came out. You should have been able to change your hair color and tattoos. They did have the infinite pirate generator which was a really awesome feature in which you could choose your pirate that you wanted. But I believe having this hair color and tattoos is definitely more customization that I personally think I want. It will be really awesome just to have that extra little bit to make the pirate look more like me per se or make them look more awesome in general. We have also had some leaks that there's going to be ways that you can earn different tattoos such as having a Kraken tattoo if you manage to defeat the Kraken which is really really awesome indeed and doing other similar tasks like that will earn you different stuff as well. Next up we have some news about the legendary ships. Now don't get excited about these because they are cosmetic. They are going to be the same as just these stand-up ships, but they're going to be an awesome cosmetic look. So look-wise, these are going to look absolutely insane, these legendary ships. Now, you can only access them when you become a pirate legend. I believe you become a pirate legend once you hit 50 on all of your free quest givers. So it's definitely worth doing if you guys would like to obtain the legendary ships. I don't believe anyone at this point in time has actually become a pirate legend but when they do you'll be able to see some of the legendary ships you'll be able to earn and uh, customize your ship i have heard that one of the higher uh, legendary ships that you can get actually costs 700,000 gold so get saving and get grinding if you want your ship to look absolutely insane indeed speaking about ships we actually do have four player sloops are going to be a possibility we do know that the sloop is an awesome ship when you're playing in two player or one player, but when you're playing in four player, it would be absolutely awesome as well. I definitely feel it's much easier to control, and when you have four people on it, that would just be awesome to go around and escape people who are looking for PvP battles, but they'd have to make the galleon have some advantages over the sloop, as well as reasons to choose the sloop as well, because if you went to try and chase the sloop, it would outrun the galleon, things like that. So they'd have to make them pretty fair to have people choose both things. They wouldn't want everybody on a sloop. Because in my honest opinion, I do think the sloop is a better ship to choose. And that is just my opinion. And then last but not least, guys, we have drums are coming. Yes, drums are coming into the game as well as other musical instruments you'll be able to use. Now the drum currently is not in the game. It's something to look forward to because playing the music just while you're sailing the ship is one of them just great moments in Sea of Thieves. You don't get it in any other game where you're just sitting there and then all of a sudden your teammate starts playing the musical instrument. You bring out some drums, start playing. It's just stuff like that which makes this such a unique and great game. So do look forward to other musical instruments to add and have more fun with your teammates when you're just doing absolutely nothing. So yes guys, to round it off we do have some awesome awesome stuff. We've got the four player sloops being a possibility, musical instruments coming, legendary ships, pirate customization for your hair and tattoos, Mini games, the big possibility which could be coming. There's also the free way of earning pets as well as premium shop, which I think is a really awesome idea. We've also got the first in-game event and in-game events in general, which is really awesome. The rowboats and even fishing. So there is a load of stuff to look forward to in this game. And I am really excited. Like I said, if you guys would like to be within that chance of winning the Ferryman outfit, leave a like on this video. Let me know what you're excited and looking forward to. But as always, peace out and I hope you enjoyed.